Hey, hey everyone, Crawlerpix here, and welcome back to Alice in Wonderland. It's really turning out well, got some good progress going, so let's keep going. <laughs> I'm obviously late to the party, but wow, <laughs> using a light box is incredible. The colors on the canvas, they aren't as clear as to, you know, the different shades. Well, not that they were that clear to begin with, but the symbols sure are clear. And I think that is way more important. So <laughs> now I can tell the difference between the P's, the B's and the R's. <laughs> I mean, even with the light, my um, recording light overhead, I can still see so well and there's no like reflection or anything. It really does cut down on the glare. So I am going to 100% recommend getting one of these light boxes. It has changed my life. <laughs> Having the light box makes it so easy on the eyes and I also feel like I can speed up. Um, I definitely need to get one of these for myself. This is my mom's. Um, I had thought about keeping this one and ordering a new one for my mom and you know shipping it straight to her house. Um, I just worry a little bit that hers will end up not working or not getting it or something and it would be you know a household for me to fight for her order while I'm here and she's there and yeah so I'll just have to wait <laughs> it's gonna be painful but you know gotta do what you gotta do I also find that uh, the light box is very good for finding diamonds that you've missed placing. Uh, 
you can see it so clearly because you know the symbol juts out at you so then you know that you've definitely missed something uh, i may use this uh, on the peacock so like as a final check when you're doing your diamond paintings i would just move the canvas over the light box just to see if you've missed anything or if any have fallen off it's a very good tool i think it's multi-purpose now <laughs> even better So I really am loving this Alice in Wonderland piece. I do enjoy seeing it up close and having it look like a complete incomprehensible mess and swirl of random colors. And then just kind of sitting back and seeing it all come into shape. It's really magical and I'm loving it. Like the Mad Hatter in the corner. From up close, I didn't realize that I was making, you know an actual well of course i know i'm making an actual shape but it looks like nothing up close it just looks like you know some random squares that i'm putting down but looking back and then just kind of looking on my computer at you know a far away shot oh man it's just looking so good i'm so excited about this one although who am i kidding i'm excited about all my diamond paintings Something that I have noticed with this one is the quality, you know, of the adhesive isn't exactly the best. I mean, it's just good enough, I, I guess. When I first started, like on the right side of the canvas, I freaked out a little bit because when I lifted the paper cover, I had also lifted the adhesive layer and it just really, yeah, it freaked me out. I thought I had wrecked the thing. So I quickly laid it back down and then pressed down on it, make sure <laughs> it was back in place. And then I tried again, but very, very carefully. I lifted the paper cover with extreme care. <laughs> After I started putting the diamonds on, I had gotten to a slightly creased area. And there the adhesive had kind of bubbled up. And I was <laughs> distraught. I was like, what's going to happen here? So I put the cover back on top of it and I tried to smooth it out as much as I could. And then I started putting the diamonds on that area, but I made sure to press down on them extra hard. And you know, so far it's looking good, but I did notice that uh, in that creased area, sometimes the diamonds will pop up again. So I'm just a tad worried about that. But I have gone over that area, well, all of the areas so far with my cardboard tube just trying to roll it and press it into place and I think when I'm not working on it I will keep some books on it just to keep it flat. I'm just hoping that it won't prove to be a problem down the line you know after I'm finished. I do think I will try to smooth out any more creases though before I continue so...
So that's going to be the end of this episode. <laughs> I have made, I feel like I made a lot of progress.、Um, it, it is a big piece, so it doesn't look like a big part of the picture, but、um, there's actually quite a bit done there, I feel. And I've been trying to keep track of how much time it takes me to do a section, like, you know, an equally sized section. So I've been trying to beat my record. <laughs>、um, just a bonus bit of, you know, fun for me because I'm competitive like that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you to get a light box because it really is worth it. But yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!